All right, you guys, here are my dating mistakes um, so that you can avoid them. Obviously, I've, I've learned over time, right? The main thing is you need practice. Uh, you need to get comfortable with making mistakes. Don't be so hard on yourself, but uh, let's get right into it. Um, I would say the first one is not to be a stage five clinger. Uh, so I use that term loosely, but basically the idea is not to uh, get so attached right away. I mean, you see a pretty girl, it's hard not to get excited. She's nice. Uh, she's friendly. She looks like she's into you. Very easy to fall into the trap and think, oh, okay, I got this one. Uh, you know, like, oh, she's going to be mine. And then the funny thing was I would get myself into these. It's embarrassed to say I'm embarrassed to say it, but like I would get into this thing where like I would meet like a pretty girl and I would get really excited, overly excited, overzealous. And um, I'd end up creating stories in my head about what was going to happen. And it's like, dude, like you're barely going on a date or you barely got a number or she barely smiled at you. So it's like, I would get way too ahead of myself. And uh, most of the time it would, it would really not go anywhere, right? Or wouldn't go as far as I expected it to. So that was like the one mistake that I would say after I corrected it, it was a lot easier. Um, the next one is trying too hard to impress. Uh, I think it's like a tendency to wanna, you know, obviously look good and, and, and sell yourself, right? It's it's. It's an opportunity, it's almost like an interview, right? So it's like you wanna to try to get the job, in this case, you wanna to try to get the girl, right? So it's like natural to wanna to try to impress. Stay away from trying to do that, because at the end of the day, like, if someone's gonna like you, they're gonna like you for, for what you bring to the table. So like, trying to emphasize certain things, I would say it's better to just be subtle. That's that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, the other thing is saying too much. I remember when I would go on dates, like I would get into this mood where I would be like, wanting to tell a bunch of stories to try to sell myself and be super interesting. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't story tell, but it was just, it was a bit much. It was, I, I've sort of pivoted and decided that like, if I was ever gonna date, then I would wanna be more, just more listening, maybe asking more questions. Um, so I kind of turned the tables, right? So it's not like me over here trying to entertain. Um, so that's, I think that's like the major difference now for me is that I'm not going into a situation trying to talk as much as I can. I'm okay with silence. I'm, I like a little bit of quietness now. So if someone could be comfortable with that quietness, I, I, I don't mind that at all, actually. Um, and the other thing is getting too invested in one person, especially when you're dating, you gotta keep in mind, like people are dating other people, right? Um, so to assume that someone's dating you exclusively, um, it's not very likely, unfortunately. So. If you get heavily invested in one person and it doesn't work out, and then imagine you start multiplying, right? You start adding the numbers and you start getting emotionally invested in every single person you date. You can see how taxing that is, right? So you want to make sure you, you stay calm. You don't get overly excited um, about meeting someone. Um, and then also, too, you, you should get into a point where, where you want to be the picky one. You want to be the selective one, right? Where you want to say, okay, I only want to go on a certain amount of dates and these are my requirements, right? And so that way, it's not just about the, the the quantity, right? It's the quality. And I think that's like the biggest thing for me as I've gotten older is that uh, I'm, I'm over that whole little game. Like, it doesn't make sense to me to go and just try to get on as many dates as I can. It's like, I have to be very interested in the person to even want to waste my money on them. Um, so that's like super fundamental and valuable for me. And I didn't get that when I was younger because I was just like, it was just a numbers game is what I thought. And I realized, like, I'm the one that should be choosing who I want to go out with. Um, and if I don't find them interesting, I just won't do it. It is what it is. Or I won't I won't feel bad about not calling them back or leaving it as a first date. I'm okay with it. it, it you know, it happens. It's, it's part of part of dating. Uh, but don't get frustrated, all right? Uh, it's, it's part of the learning process. But I think if you have those things down that I mentioned, I think that will help you... Um, in your dating journey, right? If you decide to date, um, I, I'm definitely like uh, not super excited about the dating market the way it is. Uh, I've been out of it for a while now, but when I was in it, it was a very frustrating experience, especially living in like in a city where where there's a lot of vice and just a lot of like clout chasing and. And it just becomes like, it's just really hard to find people that are genuine. Um, I don't know, maybe this is happening everywhere, right? But I definitely feel it, especially here living in LA. So anyways, I hope that helps. If you decide to date, keep those, uh, keep
keep those pointers in mind. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Take care.